Hey guys, what's going on? How's your day been? Mine's been good. Um, met some really good people today. Wink. And, uh, if you're watching this, you'll know what I mean. Um, but yeah, today I got a really good tutorial. It's how to get the stand-in achievement, or the Wonder Waffle DG2. And uh, with my tutorial, you know, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, so the first step here is pretty much you have to turn the power on, and then... Uh, you have to go talk to these guys, and by that, it's by PhD Flapper, it's at the very bottom level. And you walk up to this big steel door, and you knife it, and then you have to have the full conversation with all the four characters, and you know, you gotta make sure George Romero doesn't get you. So, the real step one is find the fuse, and the fuse will be somewhere up in this room, it'll either be on top of there, on that desk, or in this case, on that desk. It can sometimes be hard to find, but you need to make sure you have the full conversation. And then once you do that, you go to the fuse box, put it in by holding the X in front of the fuse box, and there you go. Um, and then you talk with them again. You have your full conversation with them, and I got George Romero a little, a little mad here. But after you come back, um, these big four generators will come on around the map. And to destroy them, all you need to do is cook a grenade. It could be a Semtex or Frag. And um, you need to basically just chuck it at the light, and you'll know when it goes out when the red light's out. So, you need to do that, you know, just have the full conversation just to be safe. You'll know when it's over when the generators are on. And then um, we're going to run over to the, uh, the one on the ship right now. So let's just speed it up a bit and head over there. I suggest actually using frag grenades and cooking it, but you gotta make sure you don't kill yourself. Um, I actually got these mostly on my first try, so that one's right there behind the ship. Just cook a frag and hold it. There you go. You got that one. Third one is all the way at the bottom of the the lighthouse. You open the door to the stamina up. Okay, now you go in that secret little uh, parking garage or whatever this thing is. I was stupid and I just wanted to run into stamina up, but this one is right behind the window on the very left. And a uh, tip is to either let the zombies tear down the thing. See, I hit it right on, but it didn't blow up, which is retarded. And boom, there you go. So that's number three. And uh, the fourth one is um, right here along the edge by the lighthouse. Um, it's where the two ships separate. So that's the fourth and final generator. And after you're done with that, run back and talk to the uh, the four people again. And then we'll go on from there. So let's just run on back here, speed it up a bit. If you guys need any help with any of the generators or anything, you got questions, just PM me. Or that means send me a message, you know. So after you run back and you talk to the four people, uh, I get what you asked. he's basically oh, gonna tell you he needs a. I'll just be quiet for a minute and let you listen to them. Okay, so he's basically going to tell you you need to get a long, stiff, hard golden rod, which sounds very nasty. Um, <laughs> not until you mean it like that. But basically, first step is you have to activate the green submarine light that comes from the ocean. Because after you're done talking with them, you'll hear this beeping. And that's exactly it over there, that green beeping from the submarine. And that's basically just Morse code for this... Um, the levers over here on the ship we'll show you in a minute. So after you run over there, until we get up on the ship, come on. Okay, what you're wanna gonna do is you wanna pull the first lever one time. Only one time. The third lever three times. And the second lever do not mess with it all. And then you just turn the wheel to the right twice, which is just, you know, just tapping it with X. And if you do it successfully, you'll hear a horn from a ship, and you'll know when you do it. And then you're going to see the green light from the submarine up to the lighthouse, which is how you get the golden rod. 
So there you go. So the light goes up. It comes all the way down the ship. And then what you gotta do is kill a zombie. We'll get in more into that here in a minute. So what you have to do is you must get the VR-11 in order to get the golden rod. So yeah, I traded my scavenger just for this stupid Easter egg. <laughs> Honestly, like the scavenger one, the VR-11. So once you get the scavenger, you're going to want to get a zombie and go to the very bottom of the lighthouse. And you're going to want to... Jeez, I've said that like ten times, haven't I? Um, You're going to... How do I word that? You're going to want to get a zombie at the very bottom and shoot him. Um... Uh, what's the word? You're gonna want to shoot him so he gets sucked up into the uh, the ray here, the on screen. I'll put the on screen instructions here in a minute. And okay, maybe not yet, but boom, there you go. So, the final step shoot a zombie in front of the green light so the zombie gets sucked up into the ray of light, but you must kill him before he gets to the top, otherwise. You will not successfully kill him, or you will not get the golden rod. It was the end of the round, so I had to come back and get the golden rod, but it will float down to the bottom. You get the golden rod. There's a tube on the very left of the door. It is right. Hang on, let me get rid of that zombie. It is right there. You just press at hold X or whatever console you're on. Probably not PSN yet because it's. I don't know. Um. But after you do that, they'll basically tell you, uh, you know, yeah, we're gonna get out of here, but they do have a problem. The fuse will start, like, flickering, so what you need to do is you need to knife the fuse once to fix the problem, and boom, there you go, you will get the, it'll look like a death machine, but, um, it's a Wonder Waffle, and then you get the standard achievement for 35 gamer score, and a sweet Wonder Waffle, and a gaming picture, which is... Mm, lame. Um, so listen to their full conversation. You know they're gonna say, "Ah, oh, thanks," and then they teleport out. They teleport out of there and leave you in this hellhole. So yeah, At least they can do is give you a wonder waffle, which actually is pretty sweet because any of the other Easter eggs are not good at all. So as you can see, standard achievement, 35 gamer score, and the wonder waffle. Yes, that was my. Fake impression of what you call it, <laughs> um, whatever the Chinese guy is, the Wunderwaffel. Um, so yeah, basically this is just some gameplay of me using it. Um, but here are the pros and cons. Okay, the pros are you can get max ammo to get you know maximum ammo for your Wonder Waffle. So um, that's good. Uh, another pro is every time you kill George Romero, instead of getting a death machine out of it, you are going to get the, after you complete this easter egg obviously, you're going to get a Wonder Waffle every time instead of the death machine. And you're still going to get a random perk every time unless you get seven, which you get absolutely nothing. So, um, the cons are you cannot upgrade it, you cannot switch weapons, and you're likely not to get a max ammo within your time of use. If you do, good for you, very lucky. Um, like, I, I got to round 27 on this because it was a school night and I really need to end this. I really need to end this. It was about 11.30 at night, and as long as I could clear the Easter egg, that's all I, that's all I know. So you're going to keep hearing these, like, elephant noises and just random noises that come from that room. Um, I wish I could see what was inside there. That'd be freaking awesome. But, um, I haven't tried killing George yet because I have not had enough ammo. So, as you can see, I used my last bullet here in about five seconds. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty hard to do. I mean, getting the VR living is certainly a challenge for me. Huh. Um,. So, yeah, this about wraps up this video, so uh, if this helped, please favorite the video below and give it a thumbs up. That would really help. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching.